Really? Really? All of you all? And not one... Really? Oh, copper. Copper! 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 Everything's fine. Hello, anyone, everyone, and no one. Welcome back to another episode of A Truly Bedrock. Now, previously on Truly Bedrock, Slack's take. Slack's take? Oh, I got diamonds. I got diamonds. I think Jade is selling books. I think Jade be a selling some books. So that's nice. I'm glad she's taking the initiative to do the shops because I don't feel like it yet. I'm not in a shoppy shop mood yet, but I am in a bit of a grinding mood this morning. A bit of a grinding mood. Over the last couple of episodes, we have been working a lot over here. Dude, you looked like you were mad at me, and I did not look at you. I seen you as the RTX flashed on. No. 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 No, I didn't look at you. I didn't look at you. Go away. Go away. Don't touch me. Don't touch. Don't touch me. Bad. Shame. Shame to the Enderman there. Shame. But over the last couple of episodes, we've been working on our desert. I'm going to call this an oasis at this point. It's the best name that I can come up with it. Come up with it. Come up for with it. I don't know. Words are being difficult. But we've been working on this over here. Now, of course, we've got our manual crop farms in here. We've got our wheat farm on top of this. And last episode... I think it was last episode. It could be the episode before last now. I don't even know. We got the, this uh, sugarcane farm at. Now, I love these things, but they are not producing very much sugarcane because, well, they're, they're small. They're small, so we need to do some expansions upon them. And I think that's where we're going to begin today. Well, I say that, but it's not exactly where we're going to begin to because I need to get more copper before we can do anything. I want to put another module right here and another module right there. I want there to be four modules uh, piping over to this main storage chest right here. That, that, that's, that, that's my plan anyways. That's my plan. But I'm using a lot of copper in this build. A lot. In all these builds over here in the desert at this moment in time. And I absolutely love it. But we don't have metric tons of it. So I've been doing daily mining sessions and everything to try to acquire up more copper. And I'm going to keep with the trend. As of right now, we've got one, two, three, four, five, a little over five stacks of copper. And that's probably, to be fair, not even enough to add in the two other sugarcane farms. Not to mention what I want to put in the middle there, in the middle of all of those. So I think that's how we're going to start today off. We're going to start today off with said empty chest here. So this is the point we're going to go down in the comments after I get done talking here and make your guess. Your guess needs to be how many blocks of copper are we going to get? I'm not talking about individual copper ingots. I'm talking about full blocks of copper you can guess in stacks you can guess in numbers you can guess in whatever and the person who gets the closest without going over i'll do something special maybe we'll build you a custom tree here like i do on the streams you know if you if you don't know i stream over on twitch.tv slash slack lizard and we have a lot of fun over there and i do custom trees for people on streams and i'll tell you what if your guess is the closest without going over we'll build you a custom tree here too so i'm going to now go and do a two-hour mining session and i will be right back and you need you know to make your guess just just saying make your guess well i think that covers the mining got quite a bit of copper out of that now if you're curious to what amount of copper i got well you're gonna have to wait for next episode for that because i don't trust some of y'all i think some of y'all would cheat y'all would jump ahead get the appropriate answer and post it down close to what it actually is in the comments in hopes that you could get one of these trees out here just like jen's got you know but that'll be fine that'll be fine you'll find out in the next episode i've got the information wrote down securely in a secret 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 super secret location so 
we'll figure that out next episode and figure out who gets a tree. So what's on the agenda now? Exactly what I said a while ago. We're going to go ahead and tear all this out here. We're going to go ahead and put in two more of these sugarcane farms. One here and one there. And potentially... Maybe even another stack up above them. Because I don't know, to be honest with you, if that will produce enough. It, it would produce enough for rocket needs. That that's, that's for sure. We could go ahead and say that right now. But I don't know if it will produce in excess so that we could have some to trade with our villagers. Hey, you. No. D no. No, don't be messing with the villagers. So, right. Let's, let's get the framework in for a couple more of these. And... Potentially some in the top. Let's 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 do that. Well, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say nothing here. I'm not gonna say that I just built this whole section in the wrong spot. Nope. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. There wasn't some mystery reason why everything wasn't lining up at all. Nope, it did not happen. Did not happen at all. Good good job, Slack. Yeah, Idget. Good job. Just way to go. Way to go. Well, looking at that, I think, I think it'll work. I think it will work out just fine, but we're going to have to go on a bit of a resource gathering mission once again. Once again, I am out of pistons. Not a big deal. I am out of observers. Not a big deal. I get quartz relatively easy, but I'm out of sea lanterns. I'm pretty sure the other day... When I hit that guardian farm over there, I cleared out most, if not all, the sea lanterns. And at this rate, we're going to need a pretty good chunk of them. A pretty good chunk of them, so we may have to go do a little bit of guardian killing. So, a little bit of a mini time lapse coming in here. Let's go. absolutely love that absolutely i love that we've expanded the sugarcane farm out now and now it's got an additional level and done a little bit of afking here today and got a little bit more i think jade did some afking too because honestly i went afk just a few minutes before the server restarted so yeah there's no way that that all came from my little afk session but i like it i think eventually though we're going to have to put another level or two on top of that. I don't think that's going to be adequate enough for the amount of sugar cane that we're going to need for villager traits. But I do love that a lot of this copper here has now finally oxidized. It's starting to look amazing. This side over here is going to take time because, well, we just put that in. But it's, it's looking really good. Now, these here, 
though they're on top of the end rods here, are not supposed to be oxidized. They're actually still supposed to be the shiny copper, and we may switch them out in due time once we get the bee farm going over there. But I think we're going to move on from this project today. I think we're going to head out to something else because, well, Slack's having to wear his armor all the time because I don't have an unlimited supply of rockets at this moment in time, and it's very, very frustrating. Now, Jade and I claimed a witch hut over yonder. Well, we'll just say over yonder. And to be fair, building a witch hut now is nothing like it was, say, back in season one when I had the witch farm. Back then, it was a bit on the insane side. You had to do so much perimeter work. And to be fair, we can probably get one of these built now in just a matter of minutes. But we need a few things. Now, I should have... I still got pistons. I still got observers. We got that, but I need a trident. I need another trident for a trident killer. And potentially, I'm going to have to get the AFK account's computer updated to get him on here AFK. Because, well, if we get that witch farm going, yeah, he, he he's going to be earning us some gunpowder and all the other things that come from the witch drops. But first things first, let's go see if we can find, you know, a nice drown, a drown wielding? Drown wielding. Drown. Jesus, slack. Do you, do you even know how to talk sometimes? A trident willing drown. Does that sound right? I hope that sounds right. Right. Drowns. Here we come. Have a row drown, my old friend. Do you want to attack me with your trident again? Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Don't don't hit me. Oh, one. You know what? Whoa. Hey, don't touch me. Jeez. Oh. Was that copper? Was that copper? No, rotten flesh. Nasty, icky. Hi! You, why do you got a baby zippity bringer of death beside you? No. No, 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 nothing. Will you drop me some copper? No, nothing. What about you? You want to give me some copper? No. I just want to collect another trident just to have an extra one. Is that too much to ask? Oh, down there. I see you. Coming down. Down submarine! Hi, how you doing? Come on, I deserve one more piece of copper for my efforts, okay? I came all the way out here to the water. Ow! Well, uh, never mind. I don't know why I'm screaming ow. I only took half a heart. You know what? That's two tridents. That's all we need. Now, I feel one thing that I want to use and take advantage of with this new update, and we haven't got to making the geode farm yet, is the new tinted glass. With that, we should be able to put that above the top of the witch hut. Wow, that is so weird. That is so weird. We should be able to put that above the witch hut, and we could actually... Oh, what is one of the... What is, what is the thing? The thing! The telescope thing! Um, tele, telescope thing! Where, I, need, I need more shards. I need more shards. What? How do I make you? Okay. Copper! That's, that's a... Mm, that's a ripoff there. That is definitely a ripoff there. Trying to take my precious copper here. All right, you. Interesting. Interesting. This will do good for testing, though. This will allow us to put this in the roof of the witch hut. And actually zoom down to see. Ooh. Fancy stuff. Minecraft's getting fancy, people. Just saying. Well, I think I got everything I need here. I got my tridents. I got my tinted glass because I want to try something new. I got the spyglass. I got the pistons. I got the observers. I got the hopper minecart, some building blocks, some ladders, some ice to deal with all the lava. We're just going to turn that to obsidian. I just realized I forgot something that I said that I needed just like two minutes ago off camera. I, I, I need, I need, I need rails. I need rail. Come here, Mr. Iron. I need a couple rails in order to glit. Wow, that, that was, that was more than a couple slack. Good job there. Good job there. All right, so we got that. I think we got everything. Now, I want to try something a little bit different with this witch hut. With the new tinted glass, we shouldn't even need to save, like, none of the structure. So, we're going to grab this. We're going to grab our trusty seven rockets and waste one. Yep. Waste. Waste two. Oh, don't, don't fly! Fly. Jeez, game. Jeez. And we're going over here. We got four. All right, now we got three. Come on. We can at least make it over here first before we run out of rockets. Now, as I said, I want to do away with the house structure. And I want to attempt to just make a glass box out of the tinted glass. Will it work? 
to be fair with you, I don't know. I haven't experimented with this stuff yet. I haven't experimented with this stuff yet at all. But we're here. We're coming in. Hi. How are you doing? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Right. So first things first, let's go ahead and deal with... That's totally, totally not how that's supposed to go. Thank you, game. I greatly appreciate it when you do exactly not what I want you to do. Um, all of you turn to obsidian. Go. That's 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 one way to deal with the area. Next, we're gonna take care of all this. I don't know where our chunk border is, but I'm not too worried about it at this moment in time. I want to just go ahead and get all the obsidian taken care of, so we have a solid working platform. Okay, that should be good enough at this moment in time. Now, if memory serves me correctly, and um, I'm going out on the limb here with this, we're going to... Hello? Random game sounds? Hmm. Right, anyways. If memory serves me correctly, this is our spawn spot. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to grab our axe here, we're going to put a torch here, and we're going to get rid of the whole witch hut. Shut gone. Uh, I'm having a hard time with this concept that this is gonna work. I am having a very hard time buying this because everything about this just feels wrong. So let's let's go around here. Now I want to try to use the old school insta push. Will it work? I don't know. I don't know. And this rest assured there is glass here. I promise you. Uh, can, can, can I see it in RTX? The uh, not much better. All right, so that one doesn't need to be there. So let's grab this, take this all the way around like this. This is an interesting concept. And let's let let's 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 make a box. All right, now I'm not gonna try to insta push them off yet. I just want to assure that it works at this moment in time. So let's put that across there. Let's kill the RTX. Ugh. Now I can't see nothing once again. Let's let, let's go through the most painful part of this. Let's get down here underneath the obsidian. <laughs> oh, I have a hard time believing that this is gonna work. I really have a hard time believing that this is gonna work. Okay, so what I wanna do now is I wanna go ahead and block off all this. I don't want there to be no light escapage coming into this place. Escapage coming in. Escapage and coming in. It, it's not my day, people. It's not my day. All right, so up we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and thirty. Can we see anything yet? That's so weird. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. <laughs> I can't believe that works. Of course, I'm a little bit too high and they just despawn, but look at that. That genuinely works. That's so wrong. That's so wrong. It's just a glass box. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's that that feels so wrong. That's awesome. That's awesome. So at this point all we need to do is build a trident killer underneath of that thing and make that insta push. That that seems too simple. I'm just saying. Well, I'd say the trident killer is in and good to go. Except there's small problem I don't want to talk about it I, I don't I don't want to talk about it at all we're gonna pretend that that never happened okay we're, we're just we're, yep didn't happen no that wasn't what I was supposed to do good job slack you're making things complicated you know what let's just put that there that there 
I got a piece of stained glass up there where their heads go. Stained, tinted. Let's let's see if this thing will actually work. I have a hard time believing that it's this simple now. I have a really hard time believing that it's this simple now. So if I come up here, take a peek down. Now we wait. Now we wait. Can we can can we get a witch? There goes a witch into the trident killer. Uh, you're just chilling really long time there. Okay. Really? That simple? Next one. Straight down in. Next one. Straight down. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Just. I don't even have words. I don't. That is so. I would almost consider that cheaty. You know what? I would almost consider. Con Consider? Consider. That's that's the official word of today now. Consider. Consider that cheaty. And I'm not even using looting at this moment in time. I'm just verifying that it works. Just ver wow. Just hacks. Hacks is what that is. Now, of course, I don't got nothing fancy going on here at this moment in time. Nothing. And who knows if there even will be anything fancy. I have a few ideals for aesthetics that we could do around the area. But right now, it's literally just pumping everything over into not this chest not this chest yep it, it's pumping everything not over to the chest okay okay slack what'd you do wrong slack 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 you, you did something wrong there I'm, I'm just i'm just pointing it out if you think you did it right you did it wrong Okay, so let's let, let's let's not pump everything back over to that chest now, okay? Okay. Now we're not pumping everything over to that chest. Okay. Good. Good job. Right. I'm gonna build a little AFK box up there, and I'm just gonna AFK for a few minutes just to see what we get out of that. And that right there was ten minutes. Ten minutes. We still got witches down there. Let's just take a quick peek. Take a quick peek. That, that's a lot of potions. <laughs> oh, dear God. Speed potions. Instant health. Oh, I'm not even worried about those. I'm not even worried about those, but I am worried about gunpowder, spider eyes, sugar, redstone, a glowstone. Sticks. Sticks could be usable, and the glass bottles can be useful, too, when we get a bee farm going. Now, 10 minute test, that's nothing, nothing special here. Let's, let's, let's do a bit of math and see what we would have got out of that. A 10 minute test, multiplying it to an hour is just not going to be dead right. It's not going to be dead right, but we're going to get a rough estimate here. So let, let's, let's, let's see what we would have got. 1,818 drops per hour. Hmm. It, I, I, I don't know. Maybe right, maybe close. The only thing I really am concerned about at this moment in time is the gunpowder. So in 10 minutes, if we got almost a stack, almost four or five stacks of gunpowder an hour for a farm that I can throw the AFK account at, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I've still got to deal with storage and everything around here. So let me get that done and we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Now, of course, the last thing that I said to you all is that we were going to work on a storage here. Now, of course, I got up early this morning, been a little bit motivated, jumped in, did a little bit of testing and came up with a rather a simple storage design for this i mean it's not fancy at all we got we're rocking some deep slate some oak and just comes down here to a little squared off room now at this point we're only saving a few items here we're saving redstone dust we're saving glowstone dust gunpowder bottles and sticks now of course we're saving the sticks because those will be useful back over there at the villages we can trade the sticks in for emeralds and that's just literally free emeralds from the fletchers now the bottles i want to save all of them because i do eventually want to set up a bee farm now i've been working on collecting some bees over time off camera and we've got some over there that's slowly getting situated out now as far as the rest of this area here is concerned not really sure what we're gonna do with this at the moment i don't like this cobble pillar 
leading up to just an AFK box here in the sky. And I'm thinking eventually we will work some kind of tower in around here and spawn proof the whole thing and get that all situated out. Now, if you have any ideas of what we could build over here, drop them down in a comment down below or better yet, jump into the Discord and post some screenshots if you have any that you would like to show off as potential ideals. Now, one other thing that I do want to do here in time, as you just seen right there, we are getting squids and fish spawning right here in this little bit of river because, well, all this is lava, but apparently all of this right here is river. So I do want to potentially wall all this off in the future and potentially set up some magma cubes, do a little bit of a rail system underneath of here to get this all collected up because, well, free ink is the best kind of ink in my opinion. I think we're going to eventually get some bridges set up as well, going all the way back over here. Uh, if, if I can fly, can I fly? No, apparently I am not allowed to fly at this moment in time. Good talk, good talk. But yes, I would like to get some bridges set up as well to go all the way back over to our desert area and then potentially a bridge across the ocean to connect all the way up to spawn. But I've just about ran out of time for this episode here. So I think that right there is where we're going to go ahead and call this an episode. So if you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure to drop a like down below. If you would like to see more, please consider subscribing. And if you want to be part of an amazing group of people that like to hang out, chat and have fun and just chill, join the Discord. We have a great community of people over there. We have a community bedrock edition realm that you are free to apply to join. We have a Java server that you are free to apply to join. And there's also rewards via Patreon as well. Any and all support is greatly appreciated to the channel. But as I said there, that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. So I'll catch all of you all in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.